between the world's smallest basketball hoop versus the world's biggest basketball hoop. Uh, shut the door, please. I'll take it from here. So currently right now I'm about to build the world's smallest basketball hoop. And then after that we will obviously build the world's biggest basketball hoop. And after I build both of the two hoops, let's be real, you guys already know what's happening next. I'm gonna review them. Whoa. Car's coming. Relax, relax, there's no cars coming. But guys, one more quick thing before we start, I need you yes you to exit full screen and hit that subscribe button for me i know in basically every youtube video you've ever watched every single youtuber is telling you to subscribe to their channel but for me i just you know i'm doing the same thing i guess but i really need you to subscribe because i'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers before the end of 2021 with all that being said let's build some mini hoops So I've made it to my garage where I'm going to be doing most of like the, you know, construction stuff for this video. And the first thing we're going to be constructing, as you just heard, is the world's smallest basketball hoop. Which, to be honest with you guys, I have put no thought in on how I'm supposed to make this. So give me like five minutes to think. Okay, I gave myself around two minutes to think or something. And I have a pretty decent idea of what I'm doing. So I have a red solo cup, I believe that's what it's called. <coughs> That's a weird sound call. And I have a cardboard box. But obviously right now these don't look like a rim and a backboard. So let me do some cutting. Okay, so I have the rim and the rim. Wait. So we have the rim and backboard. What? If you guys are wondering what I'm gonna be using as a net for this hoop, I'm actually gonna use like parts of my hair just to, you know, is it? I'm joking. I actually thought of that though, and it was kind of a good idea, but I don't wanna, you know, go bald. Next step. And the world's smallest mini hoop is officially completed. I did add some nice finishing touches off camera and it looks pretty good. Before I can show you, it is time to build the world's biggest basketball hoop. So a lot of my real fans like this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, that guy, that guy, and a lot of you guys as well know that I have actually already built the world's biggest basketball hoop. I did it in this video. In case you haven't seen that video, let me show you how it went. Yeah. And at the end of the video, I did say that I'm gonna get revenge on baking the world's biggest basketball hoop. So, that's what we're doing right now. <sighs> this is gonna be the backboard. It's almost as tall as me, which means it might be like over six foot, which is kind of crazy. Yeah. It's a dog cage that I'm gonna build into a rim, somehow attach it to that backboard, and boom, we'll have the world's biggest basketball hoop. If this works, this is about to be crazy. Ow. Okay, the backboard has gotten put up. To be honest, I don't really know why I'm using a hammer. It's like 1950s building material stuff. I should probably go with current times and use a drill. Yes! Oh my god! To be honest with you guys, I was not thinking that like dog cage thing was gonna work. But surprisingly, it did and it looks pretty good. Just like that, I've officially finished the world's smallest basketball hoop and the world's biggest basketball hoop. And it is now the moment you guys have all been waiting for. I'm about to put both of these two mini hoops head to head in a bunch of different crazy basketball challenges. And whichever hoop wins the most challenges is crowned the better hoop. Let's start off with challenge number one. I don't know why, but this just looks really cool. It's just like a, you know, cute little basketball hoop, I guess. Since obviously a normal basketball wouldn't fit into this tiny little cup, I mean rim, sorry. We're gonna be using a ping pong ball as the basketball. 
That was a small mini hoop you just saw, and it is now time to see the world's biggest basketball hoop. Here is the giant hoop. This one looks really cool, honestly. But yeah, now that you have seen the small hoop and the giant hoop, the winner in the appearance challenge is Mr. Giant Hoop. Let's be real, it's just a lot more appealing to the eye, you know what I'm saying? Maybe because it's bigger, probably. For this next challenge, we're heading straight into gameplay. We're about to do a three-point contest. Let's start. For the three-point contest, we will start off with the tiny mini hoop. I'm gonna take 15 total shots, three from each corner. We'll see how many I can drain. First ever shot. Oh! Second ever shot, we just drained it. That was nice. Let's continue. She oh my God. Bro, go in. And one final shot. Oh, swish, kind of. Good way to end it. On the tiny hoop, we made a total of two out of 15 shots. Nah, that was quite bad, to be honest. But it is now time to do a three-point contest on the giant hoop. Rough start. We'll get it back though. Oh! oh my god! There's like almost drained like a 20 foot half court back. What? Not what? Oh yeah. Oh. Oh my god. Hey, I don't know why I'm struggling to make shots on that big of a hoop. This is kind of embarrassing. I'll step it up though. Just like that. Oh my God. We have five shots to go. I need to make two to win and one to tie. I'm gonna come and clutch. Oh, and since I'm feeling risky, Three shots left, if I make one, the giant hoop wins. Perfect swish to end it. Oh my god. With that guys, the score is now two to nothing for the giant hoop. And this next one's the one I've personally been waiting for, the dunk contest. For challenge number three, we are back on the small hoop. And like I just said, we are doing a dunk contest. This should be fun. How this will work is I will be completing five total dunks on each of the two hoops. Here's a list of the dunks I'll be doing. In case you don't know how to read, I'll read them off real quick. Normal dunk, slam dunk, between the legs dunk, windmill dunk, 360 windmill dunk, and whichever hoop I complete the most dunks on will win the dunk contest. Oh no. Ow, my elbow. Oh, I missed. No, my elbow hurts so bad. Oh my god, I missed again. Oh, so we are three for five on these dunks with one to go. And this final one is uh, between the lace dunk. And we missed. Ow. Ow. We ended up completing just three of the six dunks. But anyway, it is now time to dunk on the giant hoop. Reset the list, let's go. Almost slipped up, oh no. Technical difficulty. Okay, we got it. Okay. Oh, 
So after three challenges between these two mini hoops, the score is three to zero. That means the giant hoop is indeed the winner of the challenge. Oh, whoa, what the hell? But yeah, guys, if you did enjoy today's video, it'll mean a lot to me if you just exit full screen, hit that subscribe button. Other than that, I hope you all did enjoy today's video, and I am out. Peace! Thank <laughs> you.